Welcome boys and girls and thank you for joining me for our Scoop There It Is program. I have a special guest joining us today. All the way from the Farm Bureau, Miss Teresa is coming and she's going to read one of our stories that we have here at the library. Tales of the Dairy Godmother. What do you think that's about? Let's find out as Miss Teresa retells the story. Hope you enjoy. Good morning. I'm Teresa with the Clayton County Farm Bureau and this morning I'm at the Morrow Library Branch here in Clayton County and I'm going to tell the story of Tales of the Dairy Godmother and this is written by Viola Butler. Uh, this is the story about a little boy whose name is Chucky and Chucky is wanting some ice cream today. Uh, but his mother asked him if he'd done all his chores. Specifically, she'd asked him if he would, if he had taken out the trash. And of course, Chucky did not want to do that. As most kids, they just aren't all excited about doing chores. Uh, he is really wanting some ice cream, but of course the mother doesn't want to give him ice cream just yet until he finishes those chores. So he uh, wishes so hard that suddenly he gets a fairy godmother, or in this case, a dairy godmother. And she wants to grant him his request. But first, she is going to give Chucky a little lesson, uh, what we call a life lesson, <laughs> and she takes him to a dairy farm. So here, the dairy godmother uh, shows Chucky the different types of cows that produce milk and Chucky is all about the ice cream. He just keeps asking her to wave her magic wand and I brought one today. We're going to try it out later um, for some ice cream. So she takes him through step by step of what all is done to make that ice cream happen. First they have to clean the cows, and that's done very precisely. And part of that process is uh, also cleaning the udders where the milk comes from. And they have these cows all hooked up to the, the milk machines the, um, to produce that milk. So Chucky just keeps asking. Where is the ice cream? He thinks the ice cream is actually going to come out of the cow's udders. <laughs> so she, uh, the dairy godmother, takes him through another step. And now it's time to clean up after they wash the cows. So Chucky's still not happy. He doesn't understand. He's asking, who am I, Cinderella? And of course, the dairy godmother just keeps, you know, on with her life lesson. Uh, then she waves her magic wand and just as a trick, she puts him in a dress just to, just to shut him up. <laughs> so now everything's all clean, but guess what? They've got their milk, but they got to put it through a processing test. And if, if this batch of milk isn't perfect, then they, of course, won't use it for ice cream. And they'll have to start all over. <laughs> so next is the really ugly stuff. They have to clean out the cow's stalls. This has nothing to do with ice cream, right? But it's part of the process. So they have to clean out the, the cow stalls, and of course the dairy godmother is here showing him how to do that, and cleaning up the cow hide, uh, which is nice word for their cow poop. Um, he's not real happy about the shoveling. And he's still asking for ice cream. And finally, poor little Chucky is just wore out. And then the dairy godmother even introduces him to a mother and a baby calf. And when a new calf is born, it helps the mother produce more milk. 
Sarah be still asking, guess what? Where's the ice cream? He doesn't understand why she doesn't just wave her magic wand and produce that ice cream. And finally, there it is. He gets some ice cream. Looks like he chose chocolate. And he's wanting more ice cream, but He's still learning. She takes him back and she goes, we still have more work to do because the cows have to be milked two or three times a day. And that's pretty much the end of our story. Of course, Chucky goes home and he is more than happy, more than happy just to take out the trash for his mother. And later that night, guess what? She gives him more ice cream. And that's pretty much the end of the story. But if you want to uh, learn more about this book and uh, what all is involved with Milk and a Cow, then certainly uh, you can visit our Morrow Library here in Clayton County. Uh, I brought a couple of examples of dairy cows. This one's called a Jersey cow. Uh, and then this one is called a Holstein. And these are two of the most famous cows for giving milk. And thank you very much for listening. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready for our scoop? There it is, math game. The materials that I'm using today, ice cream scoop, math flashcards, ice cream addition mat, and some molding clay. Let's get started. Our first ice cream scoop card says, one chocolate scoop plus one strawberry scoop. Let's try that on our mat. One chocolate scoop plus one strawberry scoop. How many ice cream scoops do we have on our cone? Two, good job. Let's do the next one. Our next card, we have four ice cream scoops plus three ice cream scoops. Let's put those on our mat. Four grapes, one, two, Three, four, plus three. So let's add three more. One, I'm gonna pull off our clay and mold it. Two, three. How many ice cream scoops do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four plus three equals seven. Good job. Next we have two plus two. Do you know that answer? Let's solve it. Two red scoops. One, two plus Two more scoops. One, two. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. Two plus two equals four. Next. This is a lot of ice cream scoop, guys. Are you ready? Let's count. How many red do we need? One, two, three, four, five. Five ice cream scoops plus one, two, three. Let's solve it. One, two, three, four, five. Five red scoops plus three. Let's add three more. One, two, three. What is five plus three? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, we have eight ice cream scoops. That's a lot of ice cream. Let's see what's next. Our next card is two green ice cream scoops 
plus three blue ice cream scoops. Let's solve it. One, two, two ice cream scoops, plus three. One, two, three. Did you solve it already? How many scoops do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Two scoops plus five scoops equals five scoops of ice cream. You all are doing such a great job. For our last card, are you ready for the challenge? All of these ice cream scoops, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ice cream scoops, but we're not done, plus one, two. Two, nine plus two. This is gonna be a tall ice cream cone. I can't wait to solve it, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, it's getting tall, seven, eight, nine. We have nine ice cream scoops. How many more did we need? I know, plus two. Let's add two more. One, two. Oh, it's so tall, it's almost off the paper. Let's count and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine plus two equals eleven. You guys are so smart. Wow, I wish I could do more, but that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed our Scoop There It Is Ice Cream Edition Mat Game. See you next time. Okay guys, so the part we've all been waiting for, some fun ice cream desserts that you can make right at home. So today we're gonna start off with making some ice cream sandwiches. I know you probably get tired of the chocolate ice cream sandwiches, or you might not even like chocolate. So I'm gonna make two different ice cream sandwiches with sugar cookies. So we're gonna start off with two cookies. I have some vanilla ice cream. Boy, this looks good and smooth. We're gonna take a scoop out and put it on our ice on our cookie. Then put your cookie on top. Now you say, oh, that looks so plain, but let's add some sprinkles to this one. I'm gonna shake them. Oh, that looks good. Looks real good and tasty. And it's very quick and easy to make. And we have a sprinkled ice cream sandwich. Now you might like cookies and cream. Let's try that. Two sugar cookies, scoop of ice cream. Scoop it out. Let's do one more scoop. It'd be a bit messy. And now for these toppings, we're gonna add some cookies. Cookies and cream, oh, that looks delicious. Make sure you have a plate underneath because you're gonna have some loose runaway crumbs. Boy, that looks good. So we have just made two ice cream sandwiches, one with sprinkles and one with cookies and cream. Let's make a uh -oh, cookies and cream pie. Okay guys, so this one is my favorite. Cookies and cream ice cream pie. Okay, so what I have is a chocolate pie crust. Ooh, did you know they made those? All right, so we have our chocolate pie crust, some delicious cookies and cream ice cream, and some whipped Cool Whip. So we're gonna start off with scooping out the cookies and cream ice cream and putting it in our pie crust. Look at that. Doesn't it look good? Ooh-wee. 
nice and creamy. Boy, I can't wait to see how this turns out. All right, so we have four big, gigantic scoops of cookies and cream ice cream. Now we're gonna try to smear it out. You wanna just pack it down to get every little corner of ice cream into the pie crust, and then we're gonna see if we need to add some more ice cream. All right, smear it out. It looks like the four scoops did it. Okay, so now that we have our pie filling, we're gonna add some Cool Whip. Or if you want to add some more ice cream pieces to it, you can. I'm gonna demonstrate and show you to give some extra cookies. Ooh, that looks good. All right, now we're gonna put some Cool Whip on top. All right, let's come off, there we go. And you want this also to cover the entire top part of the pie. Who knew you could do so much with ice cream? All right, so let's see if this is gonna be enough. Gonna get a nice layer of Cool Whip on top. We might need to add some more because we don't wanna see any ice cream. Just a cool whip. Just gonna add some more. That looks good, guys. A little more. It might melt just a little, but we're gonna put it in the freezer. All right, so now we have our chocolate pie crust at the bottom, our cookies and cream ice cream in the middle with a layer of cookie crumbs, and then we put the Cool Whip. So now we're gonna add some more cookie crumbles on top. Ooh, this looks delicious. I can't wait to dig in. I'm gonna add a few more. And then we freeze it. Okay guys, so now that we've had our cookies and cream ice cream pie sit in the freezer for about two to three hours, let's go ahead, cut a slice, and see how it looks. Ooh, look at those layers of cookies and cream, guys. All right. Hope you all enjoy this.